Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a hot minute since I've just sat down and talked to the camera, so I really really missed you guys and hopefully I'm not too rusty with my talking today, but let's just jump straight into the video because today I have a I think a good one for you. I'm going to be sharing 10 healthy habits, holistic habits, that have changed my life for the better. These are habits that have really had a positive effect on my body, mind, and spirit. And, you know, my username is Holistic Habits, so you can probably tell how important habits are to me. Where you will be a year from now is a result of the habits and choices that you make today. So think of the person you want to be, your ideal self, and then write that person down and think of the habits and choices that that type of person would make. And then start living like that. Start implementing those habits into your daily life. And it's never, ever, ever too late to introduce a new healthy habit into your life. And it's never too late to stop an unhealthy habit either. And you don't have to be perfect. Just doing these habits a few times a week is better than not doing them at all. But before I talk about the habits, I wanna quickly thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. And they are the perfect sponsor for today's video because AG1 has been a daily habit of mine for a few years now. I have AG1 every morning, even when I'm traveling, I have the AG1 travel packs as well. And it's a way for me to get my nutrition first thing in the morning. It has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. In fact, a lot of you have written to me and told me how you can't take a lot of supplements, but you were able to take AG1 without getting an upset stomach and that you really noticed the difference. So this is kind of just everything jam-packed into one nutritional beverage. So what I like about that is that I don't have to take many, many different supplements. I just take this and I know that I'm covered. It supports our immune health, our brain health, our hormonal health, our energy levels, our liver health. I like to take it about 20 or 30 minutes before I eat my breakfast in the morning and I just take one scoop in a glass of water, shake it up, stir it up, and drink it. I really like the taste. In fact, I kind of crave it in the mornings just because I've had it for so long. And you can click my link down below in the description to get a year's supply worth of vitamin D plus five AG1 travel packs for free with your purchase of AG1 and vitamin D is really important for a healthy immune system. So it's great to take along with your AG1, but let's move on to some other healthy habits I love. So I guess I can start at the beginning of my day and then tell you the habits that I like to do throughout the day. So my first habit, I guess, would be drinking more water, specifically in the morning. I think drinking it in the morning is the best because if you drink it before you go to bed, you might have to pee. And in the morning, it kind of just sets your day up in a healthy way. So when I wake up, I pour myself a large mason glass full of water and I sip on that throughout my morning routine. And if you wanna see my 5 a.m. morning routine that I've been doing, I just uploaded a video on that. So definitely go check that out because I kind of explain more about these habits in that video. But, you know, drinking more water, you're going to have so many benefits. It's going to help flush toxins out of you. It's going to keep you hydrated. It's going to get your skin looking more glowy. I always like to add little things into my water to make it a bit more fun to drink. I love to add in flower essences. I love making herbal teas, drinking them hot or making an herbal tea and putting it in the refrigerator and having kind of an iced tea, even a little spritz of lemon juice. There's just endless things that you can add into your water to make it more fun and more healthy and nutritional. So definitely drinking more water is a great healthy habit to have. And my next healthy habit would be to exercise. And exercise specifically in the morning. I like to exercise in the morning because it leaves you feeling so good and then you carry that with you throughout the rest of the day. I know if I'm having a bad day or a bad morning and I exercise, 
I automatically feel like 75% better. And after you work out, you feel so good that you want to eat something healthy for breakfast. So it kind of has this ripple effect. It's like you do one healthy thing and then you're like, I just want to keep doing more. Exercising in the morning is going to boost your energy throughout the day. It's going to improve focus and cognition. It's going to put you in a better mood. Even just doing 15 minutes, you don't even need to do an hour long gym session. And if exercising in the morning doesn't work with your schedule, of course, exercising any time throughout the day is amazing for you. I just have found that working out in the morning works better for me because I went for a while where I was working out later in the evening and I found that you know, one of the reasons I love working out is to get that morning endorphin boost. It just puts me in a better mood. So if I do that towards the evening, then it's kind of like throughout the day I didn't have that. And then also when I don't work out in the morning, I'm kind of thinking throughout the day like, oh, I have to exercise tonight, that sort of a thing. And also exercising in the morning will help you sleep better at night. Whereas if you exercise in the evening, that might stimulate you a bit more and actually keep you up. So, you know, just do whatever works for your body and your schedule. And I'll actually link a video that I did, I think it was last year on my healthy fitness tips because they're just little like fitness habits that you can implement throughout the day to get your fitness in. So that would actually go along really well with this video. So I'm gonna link that down below in the description. Now my next healthy habit would be to avoid using your electronic devices an hour after you wake up and an hour before you go to bed. As Andrew Huberman says, sunlight before screen light and the reason i don't like to go on my electronics for the first hour of the morning is it just hijacks your attention right away so you know you get distracted with things you might start checking emails replying to people you might also see some bad news and that can trigger your stress levels so it's like right when you wake up you're stressed you know you might start scrolling on social media right away and then end up laying in bed for an hour scrolling and if you're someone like myself who really values a morning routine if you are distracted by your phone you are not going to get your morning routine done and then at night an hour before i go to bed i like to put my electronics away because one the blue light from your screens has a very negative effect on your sleep so i don't want the blue light and you know if you do like to use your electronics at night at least get some blue light blocking glasses and i'm guilty of going to bed and thinking i'm gonna watch one youtube video and then before you know it it's 3 a.m in the morning and i've binge watched 20 videos or maybe you go on social media and then start scrolling and looking at all these reels before you go to bed and then you're all stimulated and can't sleep so it's just better to put the phone away an hour before you go to bed something that i like to do instead is read before bed because i find that it just kind of tires me out and it's just better it's not as stimulating so right now i'm reading closer to love by vex king his instagram account is one of my favorites so i was very excited his pr team reached out to me and sent me this book so i read the first chapter yesterday and i'm enjoying it so shout out to vex king but on that note of reading Another healthy habit is to learn something new every day. So you can do that by reading, by watching podcasts, by taking an online course or a physical course. Um, and I think taking an online course is really nice because I find if you pay for something, you're more than likely to do it. Although I do have quite a few online courses that I'm still needing to complete. But for the most part, if you pay for it, you are more likely to do it. And I just say, learn something new every day, even if it's just five minutes learning something. For instance, if you wanna learn a new language, you know, just for five minutes each day, practice that. And by the end of the year, you could be speaking any language. Guten Tag, wie geht es Ihnen? I don't actually know any other languages. And also something I've been trying because I find that you know, I will learn something but not necessarily retain it. Like the next day I'll forget it. So I have been trying to learn something and then try to explain it to somebody else because that kind of just um, 
yeah, it helps your brain remember it better. My next healthy habit would be to connect with people daily. So have some sort of healthy, positive social interaction every single day. I am a very introverted person. Like if this is extroverted and this is introverted, I am right here. But now I'm kind of right here and I'm hoping to get right here. I'm trying to, um, you know, be more out there. But I do not have a problem just staying by myself for weeks if I need to and just totally shutting off from the world. I'm INFP on the Myers-Briggs personality test, so I like to just stay in my little imaginary world and just be by myself a lot. I recharge when I'm alone. However, um, I notice when I don't have any social interaction, I start to get depressed. I start to get a little bit weird feeling in the head. I start overthinking. Studies have shown that social connection can lower anxiety and depression. It helps us regulate our emotions. It leads to higher self-esteem and empathy and can actually improve our immune system. We are social beings. We're social animals. So it is important. You know, sometimes I'm not having the best day and then G will text me and she'll be like, hey, do you want to go for a walk on the seawall? And I'll go for a little walk with her and talk and then by the end of it i'm like oh, i feel so good i feel so much better and the reason i say a positive social interaction is because not all interactions are equal so you know if you're just hanging around a really toxic toxic negative person you're not going to get the health benefits from that and also along with connecting with people another healthy habit is connecting with nature with mother gaia nature heals whenever you go to a beach or on a hike don't you feel so much better so try to every day have a little connection with nature whether that's going for a walk in nature um, going and sitting by a body of water maybe watering your house plants or admiring a beautiful crystal in your home and if you can't physically get outside in nature one thing that i love to do is put nature sounds on youtube and you can just listen to you know the birds chirping or water trickling i think as humans we are supposed to be out in nature every day so if you can just bring a little aspect of nature into your life it's amazing the positive benefits that it can bring and there's a lot from nature that we can learn my next healthy habit is getting morning sunlight and i've been talking about this a lot in my videos because i drastically notice a difference when i get my morning sunlight andrew huberman talks about this a lot um, he has a really great podcast on it and there's just so many benefits to getting morning sunlight it's going to help improve your mood it's great for hormonal function you'll get a better night's sleep improved immune function and more you need about 10 minutes on a sunny day and 20 minutes on a cloudy day sunlight through a window doesn't count so i like to go on a morning walk to get my sunlight this is a habit i really really encourage you to start if you haven't already because i notice such a big difference on my mood on my sleep it's just yeah there's definitely something to getting your morning sunlight Another healthy habit would be to have a morning and a nighttime routine. I am so big on having a morning and nighttime routine because it has just made all the difference in my life. How you spend the morning really sets the tone for your whole entire day. So I like to be very mindful in the morning. I like to be very do things that make me feel calm because that's going to set me up for the rest of the day and feeling good for the rest of the day i love waking up early and doing my morning routine because then once that's done i feel like i have so much more of the day ahead of me and i already feel like i've really achieved something so a morning routine and then a night time routine is also important because it's good to just calm yourself down before bed take a little bit of me time before bed prepare for the next day and a nighttime routine routine should help you get a better night's sleep and we all know that sleep is one of the if not the most important things for our health both physically and mentally so anything you can do to improve your sleep is a big plus and then another healthy habit is practicing mindfulness every single day so i like to do this through meditation and breath work i for the longest time knew that i needed 
needed to meditate and I just refused to do it because I was just so in my head and I was actually scared to meditate but I started to do it I just started with like a minute or two a day and now it's become a part of my morning routine and I hopefully will never stop because I'm already noticing a lot of benefits from it. Having a mindful practice will help you be more self-aware. It'll help you focus more on the present moment. It can help reduce anxiety, depression, overthinking, improved attention and concentration, increased imagination and creativity, more compassion for others as well as yourself. And really you can just spend 10 minutes a day being more mindful, doing a meditation, doing some breath work, and it's gonna make a big improvement in your life over the long run. So I've mentioned this in my 5 a.m. morning routine, but I use two apps for meditation. I use Waking Up, which is a really, really great app for meditation, and then also open which has meditation breath work and yoga or movement so those are the two apps that i use i love them both i will link them down below in the description because i find that having an app just makes things easier and breath work is great because you can literally regulate your emotions through your breath so if you are somebody who's more prone to anxiety like myself breathing is very important and i am someone who is a shallow breather i don't like to breathe so having a breath work practice every day for you know five ten minutes helps me focus on my breath helps me get breathing and it's just so important so mindfulness is a very healthy habit to have so those are some healthy habits that have really improved my life so i hope that they can improve yours if you guys have more healthy habits that you love to do or recommend that i start implementing definitely write them down below in the comments. And you can check out AG1 by Athletic Greens if that is a habit you want to start in your life. And remember, you can click the link in my description box to get a year's supply worth of vitamin D plus five travel packs along with your purchase of AG1. But I'm gonna end the video here. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.